Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I want to talk about torque wrenches. And the reason why I want to talk about torque wrenches is because I recently had a torque wrench, which actually went sailing across the room and broke, but that's another story for another time. Anyhow, that torque wrench was not calibrated correctly, and I over-torqued a part on the car and uh, stripped the threads, had to re-tap it and put a bigger bolt in it, and uh, anyhow, it was, it was a big pain. So I was thinking to myself, well, I've got all of these torque wrenches that kind of, kind of all by the same manufacturer, and uh, I'm wondering, are the rest of these things out of calibration as well? So what I want to do is I want to calibrate them, and I'm going to go ahead and just take a video of it here so that uh, for those of you who uh, ever wanted to do this and weren't sure exactly what the procedure was, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, I'm warning you, there's going to be a little bit of bath here. Um, but I'm not that good at math, so I'm going to make the math as easy as humanly possible. Um, some of the things that you might need to do this is you're going to need a torque wrench, a uh, measuring device. This measures up to a foot, uh, just in case I have to measure over a foot. I've got that guy. Um, I've got some weights, uh, 20 pounds worth of weights. I've got some tape, and I've got a bench vice as well. I think that's pretty much everything. So this really isn't that hard. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to start with uh, this guy right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the center point of the shaft down the shaft. And in this particular case, I'm gonna pick a nice well-rounded number, I'm gonna pick 12. And 12 takes me right about to where it says Newton, above the Newton. So where Newton is actually showing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy. There. All right, so there's that. So essentially what I've got here is I've got 12 inches and I've got 20 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trusty calculator out and I'm gonna go 12 times 20, which equals 240. That is 240 inch pounds. This particular torque wrench is a foot pounds torque wrench. It has a range of, let's see here, 10 to 150 foot pounds. So that's 240 inch pounds. So if I take my 240 inch pounds and I divide that by 12, I get 20 foot pounds. So what I want to do is I want to take this guy and I want to set it to 20. So let's see here. There's 10. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but there's 10. And if I go all the way back to zero, I am at 20. So there is 20 foot pounds. I'm going to tighten this guy up. 20 foot pounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my torque wrench and I'm going to put him in the vise and clamp him down. I'm obviously not going to clamp too hard. Got him nice and horizontal, okay? Nice and horizontal. So if this is accurate, when I take my 20 pounds and I put it 12 inches from the base, it should click. So let's see what we got. There it is. No click. So let's see if it's for the downstream. No click for the downstream. There it is. There's a click right there. So we're not too far off, all right? But we're certainly not there. Remeasure back here, nothing. So what I want to do is if it doesn't click, if it doesn't click, I want to tighten the spring. So I'm going to take my little Allen key and I'm going to put him in here. And what do I want to do? How about, how about a quarter of a turn? I'm just going to go one quarter of a turn. All right, so now I'm going to take my, uh, my weights and I'm going to hang it right here, right at our point. And it clicked. But did I go too far? To see if I went too far, I'm going to move it a little closer in. And it didn't click. Let me just retest it. It didn't click. Let me come back out. Right there, We're pretty darn close. I might have gone a tick too far, but there's our measurement right there. Take it in a little bit. It's clicking, but I might want to just take this back out. I mean, just ever so slightly. Just a tiny little turn, and I should go be able to hear click there, and I should not be able to hear click here. And there it is. So what I've done is I've properly calibrated my torque wrench. 
So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put him away. So essentially what I want to do is just take the pressure off, take him back down to zero, and go ahead and store him. He's good to go. All right, so I'm going to use the exact same procedure on the rest of my torque wrenches. I'll be able to use inch pounds for these guys. I'm going to use foot pounds for this guy. And I think at the end of the day, they're probably not perfect, but I know that at least they're in the ballpark and I'll be able to do a little bit more relaxing next time I go to torque on something. So anyhow, I'm Steve. Hope you learned something. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've got lots and lots more videos to come, so uh, be sure to hit that little bell so that you get instant notifications every time I got a new video coming out. Tons and tons more to come. Thanks so much.